This is Kenneth Duran of the Los Angeles Times, and this is my DVD Pick of the Week. I'm especially happy about the pick this week because I'm going to talk about two of my all-time favorite films that are out, one for the very first time on DVD and Blu-ray. The first film I'm going to talk about is The Iron Giant. This is really a classic of modern animation. It's an early film by Brad Bird, who went on to do The Incredibles. It's based on a story by Ted Hughes. It's about an unlikely friendship that develops between a small boy and an iron giant robot that comes down from outer space. It's just charmingly done and really, really, really a pleasure to watch. Very cool. Boys Life, man. Oh, here. This guy? is Superman. Sure, he's famous now, but he started off just like you. Crash landed on Earth, didn't know what he was doing, but he only uses his powers for good, never for evil. Remember that. Oh, that's Atomo, the Metal Menace. He's not the hero, he's the villain. He's not like you. You're a good guy, like Superman. Superman. Oh, you're hungry, aren't you? But I don't have any metal here. Just follow me. Pick me up, okay? <laughs> Okay, now, march! Woo! The other film, which has never been on DVD in the United States before, is perhaps the greatest film by Orson Welles, who is perhaps America's most gifted director. It's called Chimes at Midnight. It stars Welles as Sir John Falstaff, and it's taken from several plays by William Shakespeare about Falstaff and his relationship to Prince Hal, the man who eventually became King Henry V. It's a beautifully made film. It's got some of the best battle scenes ever done, spectacular acting. It's a true pleasure to have it on DVD in a wonderful Criterion edition. I went to a bedtime, Hal, and all well. Why, thou owest God a death? Tis not you yet. I'd be loath to pay him before his day. What need I be so forward with him that calls not on me? Well, no matter. Honor pricks me on. Yeah, but how if honor prick me off when I come on her then? Can honor set to a leg? No. Or an arm? No. Or take away the grief of a wound? No. Honor hath no skill in surgery then? No. What is honor? Here. A trim reckoning. Who hath it? He that died a Wednesday. Doth he feel it? No. Tis insensible and yea to the dead. But will it not live with the living? No. Why? Detraction will not suffer it, therefore I'll none of it. Honor is a mere scutcheon. And so ends my catechism. 